All right, before we actually start working on the over-the-air updates, let me give you a rundown on the project we're actually going to be using throughout this example. This project can be found on GitHub. I'll have a link below this video. All you have to do is go to the cloner download button, go ahead and download the zip, and then you can go ahead and follow the instructions. Alternatively, you can just go ahead and clone this GitHub repo. Once you've got that, looking at the actual project itself, you can see it's just a basic quiz app. Everything here is local, all of these quizzes are, and we'll be using additional quizzes to actually test out our over-the-air updates. We'll basically be adding quizzes through that. You can just go through, click a quiz, can choose an answer, it'll tell you if you're right or wrong, and then it'll go ahead and it's done. It's a very simple application. The code is all inside of this app directory. And it's quite straightforward. We've got our navigator set up and we've got two screens. We've got a quiz screen, which is actually the quiz that we're going, that you'll be going through as you use the application. And then you've also got the quiz index screen, which is where our actual list of quizzes lives. We also have some data in here, which is the actual quiz content. We have some components that we use to make the little alert. Uh, button, row item, and then we've got some assets to go along with all of that. Like I said, it's a pretty basic application, but it'll be a good example of how we can use our over-the-air updates. To actually get everything running, just go ahead and follow the instructions in the README, and once you've got the application running, you'll be good to go to follow along with this React Native School class.